Welcome to another MechSpecs.com video presentation. And in tonight's presentation, we will be doing a weapon system analysis and discussion. Uh, the topic of tonight's discussion is the Ultra Auto Cannon 5. For those of you that are new to MechWarrior Online, the UAC-5 is essentially a normal autocannon, which is a projectile weapon, a ballistic weapon, which fires a projectile, um, but it is turbocharged. It's got a faster rate of fire. Uh, it's got a decent range of 18, maximum range of 1,800 meters. Unfortunately, with all these bonuses comes uh, a very severe negative penalty in terms of jam rate. I don't think I've ever had a normal autocannon jam on me, but the UAC-5 jams between, I would say, 15 to 20 percent. Uh, we'll do some tests later on today. We'll do some jam rate tests, and we will check to see what that is. But in the meantime, let's review the weapon. It's a ballistic weapon, requires five critical slots on the mech. It weighs nine tons, and it has a damage rate of five points of damage per shot. It's very heat efficient, like all ballistic weapons. It only generates one heat, and it has a cooldown time of 1.1 seconds. Now, the range on it, the minimum range is zero. We didn't do any testing at zero. We did uh, 200, 400, 600, and 1,000 meters. Um, its maximum range is 1,800 meters, and we did notice severe diminishing returns. If you take a look at the actual test results, for those that don't want to actually watch the tests, you just want the numbers, the hard number data, um, you can see we did 200, 400, 600, and 1,000 meters. From 200 to 400 meters seems to be the sweet spot for this uh, auto cannon. It does consistent damage. We fought against a stock catapult, and uh, it hit five, 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 five every time we hit. After about 400 meters, between 400 to 600, there's a little bit of a diminishing return. That might have been a fluke, as it did take an extra shot to kill the stock catapult. After about 600 meters, though, you really start to see a sliding scale of diminishing returns. Up to 1,000 meters, all of a sudden, it's taking almost double the amount of shots to kill that same mech. Um, unfortunately, in the testing, our advanced sensor range and Beagle Active Probe, I don't know if they weren't kicking in or what, but we couldn't target anything out beyond about 800 meters. So we had to basically, you know, wing it and shoot by, by visual using the Mark I eyeball. Um, so we limited our test to 1,000 meters. With this type of weapon, you really want to feed it with a lot of ammo. The test mech itself, we actually used six tons of ammunition, and you can go through that pretty quickly in this mech. Uh, we were able to fire up to 71 shots per minute on full auto. That includes the jams. Uh, each test that you're about to see was 60 seconds in length, give or take a second, depending on you know when we got to turn off the weapon or release the trigger on time, but it's fairly accurate, close to 60 seconds. We did three tests, and we took the middle test and utilized its video for the purposes of an average, a mean average, or baseline numbers for this this uh, presentation. If anyone has any ideas on what they'd like to see broken down and analyzed, please visit us at mechspecs.com, register on our forums, send us a comment, smoke signals, pigeon carrier, whatever works for you. Uh, but let us know what you'd like to see done and hope to see everyone on the battlefield. So let's get to the tests and see how we do.